the lecture 8 in the continuation of the system of linear equation in that lecture we discuss the solution of homogeneous system of linear equation so the homogeneous system is what when the right hand side of that system is zero the system is also represented in the form summation j is equal to 1 to n a i j x j is equal to 0 or sometime we write a x is equal to 0 so here because b is 0 so this is the coefficient matrix and this x is what is a vector or we can say the column matrix of unknown now we discuss the solution of that system means the homogeneous system so the because is a homogeneous system the right hand side of that system is 0 so it make a homogeneous so the solution is what solution is same the set of value is simultaneously satisfy all the equations is called solution of the given system but here there is no need to write the argumented matrix because the right hand side of that system is zero so the argument matrix is equivalent to the coefficient matrix so here the system of equation ax is equal to zero is always consistent means this type of solution system has always have a solution but because we have a solution but it may be unique or infinite so in what case there are two cases if the rank of that coefficient matrix is equal to n means number of unknown variables in that system so in that case the system has unique solution and what is that unique solution is a trivial solution means we have always a zero solution and if the rank of that ma coefficient matrix a is what less than n means number of unknown variable then we say the system is non-trivial and have a infinite or a many many solutions so we take an example solve the given system of equation we have this is a given system of equation so what we say this system is what homogeneous because the right hand side of the equation is what zero so we have to solve that system so for the solution we just write the system in that form ax is equal to zero the coefficient matrix that is 3 minus 15 5 minus 1 6 minus 2 1 minus 5 and 2 x y z these are the unknowns or we can say variables now so we discuss the solution by the help of that coefficient matrix so convert that matrix into the Eklund form and then we discuss the solution by the help of rank so there's a uh, one thing more we can also Take the determinant of that matrix and say the rank is less than or equal to that particular the order but we convert it into the line form because we discuss the solution so at this state we apply the operation to so search the first non-zero element of the first row that is three and by the help of that element the below element make it zero so here we apply the operation on R2 R2 minus plus 5 time of R1 and on R3 we can apply R3 plus minus 2 time of R1 what will happen you can 3 minus 1 1 it will become 0 this is 6 minus 6 plus 5 time of this is what 1 and this will come 0 this will be 5 and 2 time of 3 is we get minus 1 0 0 now because we have to convert it into the upper triangular or Eklund form we just inter interchange that element with that element 
on R1 interchange with R3. So the matrix can be written as here we write x, y, z. So at that stage we get minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And it is 3 minus 1, 1. X, Y, Z, 0, 0, 0. Now, by the help of that element, make this 0. And this become what's non-zero. That is minus 1, 0, 0. We apply the operation on R3. R3 plus 3 time of R1. So we get 0, 1, 0. This becomes 0 and minus 1 and 1. Now, by the help of that, make that 0. So apply the operation on R3. Again, R3 plus R2. So we get minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1. Now, this is convert into the what is an Eklund form. If you multiply, that is minus 1. So, we also we can apply an operation on R1. Minus 1 interchange R1 by minus 1 into R1. So, we get a normal form 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So what will happen at that stage what we see the rank of that matrix is what rank of A is what 3 so we can say the system this system is what is is what trivial solution means have a unique solution because rank of that matrix is 3 which is equal to number of variable and what is that solution? Solution is x, y, z is equal to 0. So this is a unique solution which is a trivial solution. Let's take an example. Solve the given system of equations. So we have a three equation. So first we see what the system is what is in homogeneous because the right hand side is what is zero. So we write the system of given system of equation in the form ax is equal to zero. So we write the coefficient matrix. These are the coefficient matrix 1, 3, minus 2, 2, minus 1, 4, 1, minus 11, 14 x y z these are the variable or unknowns is equal to 0 0 0 so here matrix b is 0 so there is no need to write the argument matrix we can directly discuss the solution by the help of that coefficient matrix so we find the rank of that matrix so there are two way we find the rank by the minor method or also we find the rank by the Eklund form so if we take the determinant of that matrix which is 1 through 1 into minus 1 into 14 minus minus 11 into 4 30 minus 72 42 what we say it becomes 0 and if the determinant of that matrix is 0 it means matrix is a singular and the rank of that matrix is what less than n means less than 3 Thus, we can say system has non-trivial solution. Means it has a non-trivial solution. Means many solution. So, how we find that sol that solution? So, to find the solution, that solution, we write the given system in that form. And now we apply the operation and convert that equation into the upper triangular, or we say Eklund form. For that, we search the first non-zero element of the first row that is 1 by the help of this the below element make it 0 
so we apply the operation on r2 r2 minus 2 time of r1 and on r3 r3 minus r1 so the equation become 1 3 minus 2 and this is 0 and minus 7 minus 1 and 2 time of this 6 that is minus 7 4 and minus 4 minus minus become plus 8 then this becomes 0 it become 14 16 now search the next non-zero element of the second row that is minus 7 by the help of that 7 make this element 0 so we apply the operation on r3 that is r3 minus 2 time of r2 so the first row is same second row is also same we apply the operation on third row so third row becomes 0 14 minus uh, plus 14 we get 0 16 minus 2 time of 8 is 0 now at that state what we see it convert into the Eclan form so it convert into the Eclan form now we check the rank of that matrix so what is the rank of that matrix rank is rank of a is what 2 as we discussed the rank of matrix is less than the number of unknown and we have three unknowns x y z so we can say the it has non-triple solution so what is that solution so at that stage when it convert into the upper triangular or we say in the acting form so at that stage we convert it into the again system we write the equation 1 into x 3 into y minus 2 into z is equal to 0 and the next equation minus 7 into x uh, sorry minus 7 into y plus 8 into z we get 0 so we get only two equation means the system is reduced into the two equations and so for finding that the solution of that system at that stage what we do because we have three unknown variables and only we have two equations so for that we consider uh, one any one variable is equal to any constant arbitrary constant that is a k we take k so we put in that equation we get y is equal to 8 by 7k and then z and y put in the post equation we get x is equal to minus 10 by 7k here k is an arbitrary constant if we change the value of k we obtain a different solutions of that system if we take a k is 1 so we get x is equal to minus 10 by 7 y is equal to 8 by 7 and z is equal to 1 if we take that k is equal to 2 3 so we get a different different solutions or we can say we obtain an infinite number of solution of that system okay student i give you a problem that is for you you have to solve at your home given the system, given system has non-trivial solution so we have three equations x plus y cos gamma plus z cos beta is equal to zero x cos gamma plus y plus z cos alpha is equal to zero and the third equation is x cos beta y cos alpha plus z is equal to zero so you have to solve that system and find in which condition we have non-trivial solution if you understand the system of equation then you can solve this problem so please try that problem at your home and if you are not finding the solution of that system please discuss or leave the comment okay continue in the next lecture we will discuss a new topic in the next lecture thank you